This is eLife Reflections. Hello and welcome to another time of devotional studies. Today, we will be considering a very interesting topic, aligning our plans with God's will. And our scripture is taken from James chapter 4, verses 13 to 15. I read from the ESV. Look here, you who say, today or tomorrow, we are going to a certain town and we will stay there a year. We will do business there and make profit. How do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? Your life is like the morning fog. It's here a little while, then it's gone. What you ought to say is If the Lord wants us to, we will leave and do this or that. Amen. Following his warning on the need to be humble, James described the work of a business person who made plans for a business trip. His detailed plan included the place he will visit, the length of stay, his intended purpose and plans to make profit. But God was not in his plan and his will was not taken into account. James also reminded his audience that only God knew what the future held. Hence, it was imperative to align their plans to God's will. Beloved, We all fall short of this habit of aligning our plans with God's will. And today's devotional is a good reminder. I would have us to do a review of the verses we have just read by answering the following. 1. Who was the Apostle James addressing in this passage? We can find that in verse 13. What question did James ask these self-confident people? Reference verse 14a. How did James describe human life? Reference verse 14b. And finally, what was James's advice to the believers when planning for the future? We can find that in verse 15. Just take a moment to review the questions and see if you can find the answers. There are some truths and beautiful insights in today's scripture that I would have us to recap. James was addressing the Jewish Christian merchant. James asked the question if they knew what their lives would be like tomorrow. Thirdly, James described human life like the morning fog which is here a little while then it's gone and finally james advised the believers to say if the lord wants us to we will leave and do this or that as in to say if the lord wills or better still god willing we will do this or that in response to the above And by application, how can we align our plans with the will of God? Derived from the acronym PLANS, here are some suggestions of what we can do when planning. And I love this, so let's go together. Letter P. In the acronym PLANS, we must pray to know God's will in every given situation especially when planning. In our scripture reference is Psalm 37 verse 5. It reads, Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust Him and He will help you. Letter L. In the acronym PLANTS, we must look carefully at the Word of God to know His will and ensure we align with it. Proverbs chapter 3 Verse 6, it says that seek his will in all you do and he will show you which path to take. I like this. 
Letter A, in the acronym PLANTS, we must admit the life is too short and so we must depend on God each passing day. Psalm 39 verse 5, it reads, You have made my life no longer than the width of my hand. My entire life is just a moment to you. At best, each of us is but a breath. Letter N in the acronym PLANTS. We must navigate through this journey of life under the leadership of the Holy Spirit. And we can find our scripture from Galatians chapter 5 verse 25. The Passion Translation puts it this way. If the Spirit is the source of our life, we must also allow the Spirit to direct every aspect of our lives. And I say Amen to that. And finally, letter S in the acronym PLANTS. We must surrender totally in obedience to the will of the Father just as Christ did. And we can find our scripture from Luke chapter 22 verse 42. And this is about Jesus and he said, Father, if you are willing, take this cup of suffering away from me. Yet, I want your will to be done, not mine. Amen. Remember, we must be committed to knowing the will of God so we can pattern our lives in accordance to his will for our lives. The Bible says in Acts chapter 18 verse 21 concerning Paul, as he left, however, he said, I will come back later, God willing. Then he set sail from Ephesus. Child of God, we cannot afford to leave God out of the plans we have for our lives. We must align our plans with the will of him who gave us this life. From today, let us make it a habit to say, if the Lord wills and we are still alive, we will do this or that. Hallelujah. In conclusion, what have we said? We must seek God's will in our plans. That is, we must pray to know his will first and foremost. Look carefully into the scriptures and align our plans with his word. Admit that life is short, so we will depend on God always. Navigate through this life by the leadership of the Holy Spirit and finally surrender totally in obedience to the will of the Father as Christ did. Amen. I am so blessed. I don't know about you. If you don't mind, let's spend some time to pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for your word. Please help us to seek you, to know your will, and to align our plans with your will for our lives. Amen. This is all the time would allow us to share today. If the Lord wills and we are alive, I will come your way again next week. Until then, remember, it's Suska wishing you Jesus. God richly bless you.